السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہیلو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ سیف سو اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بگن ود چیپٹر نمبر سیون دیٹ از کائنڈ آف ورپس سو اسٹوڈنٹس وٹ ڈو یو مین بائی ورپس اینی ون آف یو ورڈس دیٹ شو ایکشنس آر کالڈ ورپس The, the words which show any type of action, those verbs, words are verbs. For example, laughing, crying, dancing, bathing, eating. What are all these words? These words are verbs because they are showing any kind of action, right? Now students, what do you mean by kinds? Kinds means types of verbs. So in this lesson we are going to study about the types of words verbs so now we are clear with the verbs what is mean by verb let us see what are helping verbs the verbs am is are was were has have had do did does are called helping verbs now why are these verbs called helping verbs because they help the main verb to show their tense and number This helping verbs are called as helping verbs because they help the main verb to show the tense or its number. Now helping verbs are also called as auxiliary words. Okay, what it is known as auxiliary verbs. Now let us take an example. I am learning English grammar. Now students tell me what is the verb here? learning right because it is an action learning is an action so it is the verb but this learning is the main verb what it is it is the main verb and am i am that am is your helping verb because it is helping the main verb to show the number right as we can say that am is with i and i is used for a single person so am is helping the main verb to show the quantity of the people okay so that is main verb and auxiliary verb so students now what do you mean by modal auxiliary now we are going to study about modal auxiliary verbs such as can could may might must shall should will would ought to and dare are called models or model auxiliaries whatever the words i just mentioned these all words are known as model auxiliary verbs now why because they express necessity uncertainty ability permission or possibility because this words or this verbs they what they express necessity that you need to do that or uncertainty that it may happen that is uncertainty you are not we are not confirm with the situation or the ability or permission you are seeking permission from someone or it may also express possibility that it may happen okay so these types of words are known as modal auxiliary For example, I will be in Chennai next month. Now here in the sentence, what you are showing that possibility that you may be in Chennai next month. So will will be your model auxiliary verb because it is showing possibility. Likewise, the another example is I can play the guitar. Now can what it is. telling you that i can play the guitar it means it is showing you the ability right so can becomes your modal auxiliary okay students now there are some types of words verbs which is finite verbs non finite verbs and transitive verbs and intransitive verbs so there are basically four types of verbs that is finite non finite then transitive and intransitive now students let us study what are finite verbs verbs that change according to the subject in the sense sentence are called finite verbs 
Now there are some verbs which change according to the subject of the sentence. Then those words verbs are known as finite verbs. For example, now your first example is I read novels. So when I am talking about myself, I will just you read. Okay. Then the next example is she Sheila reads comics. Now here, because I am talking about someone else, for the verb that is read, we are applying s, so that is changing, right? So it is finite. Now, what is non-finite verbs? Verbs that do not change according to the subject in the sentence are called non-finite verbs. Now there are some verbs which do not change according to the subject. Yes, so that type of verbs are known as non-finite verbs. For example, I was reading a novel when Pragati arrived. So here your verb is reading. That same example will take reading is a good habit. Now here too, are you changing? Are you making any changes in your verb? No, the verb is that itself. So in this, in this. Uh, situation what happens is when the verbs do not change yes it do not change according to the subject of the sentence then those verbs are known as non-finite verbs and when the verbs change according to the subject of the verb that time the sentence the verb is known as finite verb okay are you clear with this then students what do you mean by transitive verbs Verbs that have objects are called transitive verbs. Now, in some sentence, we mention some objects, right? So, that uh, verb becomes the transitive verb. For example, I wrote with a pen. Yes. Now, here students, if I ask you, with whom did you, with whom did you write? So, what you will answer? I wrote with a pen. So, here we are using an object. Which, which is that object? Pen. So, that pen is your transitive verb. Okay. Now, for example, the boy kicked a football. Now, here too, what did you kick? You kicked a football. So, football is nothing but an object. So, that is your transitive verb. Okay. Now, the next type is intransitive verbs. Verbs do, that do not have objects are called intransitive verbs. Now, opposite of transitive verbs. In this type of sentences, the verbs do not have or the sentences do not have verbs which are object. Okay. Or the sentence, sentences which don't have objects in their sentence that are intransitive verbs. For example, I cried. Now, cried is your verb. But you are not using any type of object over here. So that is intransitive verb. The next is they played the whole day. Now here too as you are not mentioning any type of object here. Then that becomes your intransitive verb. So students I hope that now you know what are verbs. Verbs are any kind of actions. Okay. And then you have some helping verbs like am, is, are, were. These all are your helping verbs because it helps your main verb, right? Then you have some model auxiliaries which show the or which express the necessity, uncertainty, ability, permission or possibility. Then we studied about the types of verbs which were finite verbs, non-finite verbs, transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. So finite verbs are those verbs which change according to the subject of the sentence and non-finite verbs are those verbs which do not change according to the subject of the sentence. Then transitive verbs are those verbs which mention the object and intransitive verbs are those verbs which do not mention any kind of object. So here students we complete our seventh lesson which was kinds of verbs. The exercise of this sentence will be shared to you soon. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.